Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be looking at the topic congruency. And to be precise, we're going to be looking at congruent triangles. Now first of all, the word congruency means identical. What are congruent triangles? Congruent triangles are identical and they can be mirror images of each other. So once again, the word identical comes up and we need to know that. Rules or cases for triangles to be congruency. The first case is SSS, which stands for side, side, side. So all the sides in one triangle must equal to all the sides in the other triangle. So three corresponding sides are equal in both triangles. The next case for congruency is side angle side, and where we need to prove two corresponding sides and the angle between them are equal. The third case is angle angle side, where we need to prove two corresponding angles and the side between them are equal. And the last case, which is the fourth case, is a right angle hypotenuse side. We need to prove the hypotenuse and one corresponding side of a right angle triangle are equal. So it needs to be a right angle triangle and we need to prove or show that one corresponding side of a right angle triangle are equal. Now make sure that you understand this theory before moving on to the application. So firstly ask yourself, do you know what congruency is? What the cases of congruent triangles are? Always remember to read, summarize, practice with worked examples before moving on to the application. Today we're going to be looking at the application. This first question, which is a multiple choice question. Why is triangle ABC congruent to triangle BCD? Firstly, let's look at the symbol for congruency. It's three lines or three horizontal bars. Remember, if you watched the previous video on similarity, there we have three vertical bars. Now it says, why is triangle ABC congruent to triangle BCD? So the four cases are stated, we need to choose one of them. So if you look carefully, ABC, triangle ABC. So if you look at triangle ABC, there we go. A, B and C. We can see that AB is an angle and BC is a common side to both of the triangles. And if we look at triangle DCB, D, C, and B. So what do you notice? You'll be able to see the solution now. We have two sides which are equal and an included angle. Therefore, the answer would be side angle side. So there we go. One of the cases of congruency side angle side so our solution for the first question is c side angle side remember learners to try and answer these questions and then compare your solutions so let's see if you can answer this question so press pause answer it and come back okay so now that you've answered it let's look at this question so here they tell us that a e is equal to a d and AB, so that's B, AB is equal to AC, and AE equals to AD. We said that. Why is triangle ABE congruent to triangle ACD? Why is triangle ABE congruent to triangle ACD? So let's look at that very carefully. ABE. Let's draw that separately. A, B, and E. So that's A. B and E. So here we can see that A, B and E. And let's draw a triangle A, C, D. So A, C, D would look something like this. A, C and D. So that's A, C and D. So now we've got A, or oh, that would be D and C. And that's A, E, and B. Okay, so they tell us that AB is equal to AC. AB is equal to AC. 
AE is equal to AD and we have a common angle which is angle A. There's a common angle. So once again, remember that is D, that is C. So what can you see learners? Two sides identical and an included angle. So once again, the answer is side angle, side. Okay, so look at the four cases of congruency again. Side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, side, right angle, hypotenuse, side. So we've answered two questions already. Now let's look at the third question. So in this particular question, we are told that we are given that AB is equal to AC. AB is equal to AC and BD is equal to BC. BD is equal to BC. Prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. Let's look at that very quickly. ACD. What do you notice? AD is a common side. So straight away, we have a common side which is AD and we are given that AB is equal to AC and BD equals to BC. So you've got three statements and all are given to us and we have a common side here. So we can clearly see that the case of congruency that we will be proving here is side, side, side. How do we start off our proof? We'll start off by saying in triangle A, B, D and triangle A, C, D and the first statement will be A, B equals to A, C and that is given. Statement number two, B, D equals to D, C and that is also given to us and statement number three is that a d is common so we have our three statements therefore triangle a b d is congruent to triangle a c d and our reason is side side and that is our proof for this particular example. Therefore, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. And remember, once we prove congruency, remember now that all the sides and all the angles will be equal to each other. Let's look at the next question. In this particular question, we are given, it says in the above figure, AB equals to AC. There's AB equal to AC, BD equals to CD, BD equals to CD. We are asked to prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. So let's look at those two triangles. ABD And A, C, D. So let's use a different color. And as you can see, the use of colors helps us tremendously in this particular section. So my advice is get some color pencils and keep them in your pencil case when you are doing Euclidean geometry. It comes in handy. So we can clearly see once again that we have side and a side, side and a side, and a common side. Therefore, once again, the case of congruency that we will prove here is side, side, side. So let us start off our proof. Saying in triangle A, B, D and triangle A, C, D, number one, say A, B equals to A, C. Given. Statement number two, B 
BD equals to CD given and statement number three AD is common. Therefore, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD and our reason side 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 and there you go learners that is how we prove congruency or congruent triangles now remember from the beginning always read summarize and practice before you apply and I hope that this was a help to you. Learners, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is JL Maths. And check out all my videos on jlmaths.com. I'm Justin Lazarus, and I'll catch you in the next video.